when I was young and going to school, I think uh, my only thought was to be married and have children, and I didn't have any ambitions for any career at that time that I can recall. I don't uh, recall uh, being involved in women's liberation because uh, in that period it wasn't uh, the subject. I'm of the Jewish faith, and uh, I have a very warm, loving, marvelous family. Uh, I was born in New York City. When I was very young, I was shy. Like a lot of shy young women of her generation, Zarina Zare thought you automatically got married and had babies, only to find out just as often you got married and had a divorce. His name was Sam, and uh, we were married four years. Left without a husband or children, Zarina pursued a career in government. I was in Washington, D.C. I was an interviewer for the information office. I also uh, worked at the post office uh, censorship during the war. I worked for Water and Power. I worked for the Board of Health. Zarina felt for her mental health there was more to life than Water and Power. So, for a hobby, she enrolled in art classes. Even though she was fairly talented, she found out later there was more to life than art. So she tried Irving. My uh, second husband, Irving, um, was eight years younger than I. I uh, was married to him for four years. <laughs> that seems to be my limit. After two marriages, there were still no children. So she adopted two dogs. My dog's names are Zippy and Zeppy, so they're my children. After she left her second husband, she left her lifetime career and started over. When I started out on my own again, I said, I want to do something offbeat, something different. What Zarina did was become a clown for children, and in honor of her dogs, called herself Zappy. I do birthday parties, I have puppets, play games, sing, and teach them a little funny clown dance. Remembering her days in art class, what she also did was become an artist's model. July, right, uh-huh. The more you have to offer art classes, the more jobs you can get. So I had innumerable costumes, innumerable wigs, and uh, innumerable characters. And from one job to another, they don't recognize me. A lot of people think that uh, being older is a detriment in our present society. It's so youth orientated. And in some respects, I have met with that. But on the whole, I think I do well. I think I do well for an aging woman. <laughs> From the look of her makeup room and her appointment book, Zarina, who's in her mid 60s, is doing amazingly well for a woman of any age. I couldn't wait to see more of this older woman who knows there's more to life than leisure world. And as I approached her shrubbery shrouded house, I wondered why we didn't see more of older women like Zarina, who were surviving and succeeding in their advancing years on their own. I wondered why we didn't see more of senior citizens who felt life still held new adventures. Why we didn't see more of senior singles. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm John Barber. Oh, hi, do come in. I wondered now why I was seeing so much. Zarina told me she'd become a nudist, which she says has enhanced her modeling and her life. They said, uh, in order for us to shoot you, you have to have an all-over tan. And the only place I could get an all-over tan at that time was at a nudist camp. And so I became a nudist. Zarina so loves her new nudist lifestyle now, she says husband number you three would have to be a nudist, younger, and a ten, marked down. And I would settle for nine and nine tenths or something like that. And as uh, the Jewish expression goes, has alamalis, in other words, all the virtues. And uh, when you go towards a younger man, you're more apt to get better lovemaking. I find uh, lovemaking more uh, enjoyable now because I don't have to worry about contraceptives, which I did when I was younger. Okay. Um, Zarina's next husband will be surprised to find her so liberated, to find her so independent, and most amazingly, to find her on page 17 of this month's Hustler magazine. How did you happen to end up posing in Hustler? Uh, Hustler put out an ad, and I answered the ad. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have uh, several issues of Hustler magazine. Would you like to see them? Okay, I'll get them for you, I'll show them to you. Since it was getting so hot outside, I asked Serena if we could look at her magazines in the house. And because the house was air-conditioned, I suggested she slip into something a little more comfortable. 
This uh, um, photo was in the uh, February issue of Hustler magazine. My son-in-law did me in by giving me extra strength Tylenol. And here I'm getting ironed out. They're taking all the wrinkles out of my butt. What's this one? And this is supposed to be Charlie's Angels 30 years from now. <laughs> Uh, I saw say Kate Jackson wearing a wig. Where are these women now? Uh, Pearl died about a year ago. She was a lovely, lovely model and a lovely, warm person. Well, I was told it's really true that they spray uh, fluid on a female pig to make her amorous so that she'll let the male pig make love to her and they can have more bacon that way. And so he's trying that on me. How do you respond to some people who say that some of the things in this magazine are... <laughs> <laughs> That's <just good. laughs> That's terrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's, that's sick. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. That, that would be embarrassing. Uh -huh. I guess. <laughs> that's like having your grandma do it. You have a fine program. Keep it clean. Women shouldn't flaunt their bodies like that. Yes, definitely. It's sick, 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 but... Then, then why are you in it? Well, I'm a professional model. Looks all right to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is she Baptist? Is she a white woman? <laughs> she doesn't look Jewish. I'd probably do the same thing if I was 65. If they paid me enough money, I might. <laughs> I probably would. Um, I don't know. I guess if you have dirty old men, you need dirty old women to keep them company. Keep it clean. If they ask me to pose, I'll pose. If the pose is within my sphere, because I won't uh, pose uh, raunchy. I don't do beaver shots.